I've always been envious of that personality type that knows what they want to do from such a young age and is actually doing it. But you were kind of that person, right? You, you knew it. You knew what you wanted. You were singular in your focus. Mm -hmm. From about 10, probably. And then when I was you know, 13, 14, really trying to act on it, you know, so I you know, interviewed comedians from my high school radio station. I got a job as a dishwasher and a busboy at a comedy club because I just wanted to watch. Most of the money I made went for the taxis that took me to the comedy club because it was really far from my house. And I never told anyone I wanted to be a comedian. I, that would felt too humiliating. Right, felt right. the gall to say that. But then when I was a senior in high school, you know, I worked up the nerve to start doing open mic nights. When you did these interviews, did you tell people you were in high school? Most of the time, I just said I was from a radio station in New York, and I would show up and be 15 years old. And you know, they were always it was very nice, but not necessarily thrilled to see a child show up at their door. But comedians are generally nice, so and they would give me a lot of time. You know, I, I went and interviewed Jerry Seinfeld, and he talked. So it wasn't to me. on the phone; it was it was in person. Somewhere, somewhere on the phone, I interviewed Gary Shandling on the phone and Howard Stern. But usually, I would you know go somewhere, and then I would just say to them, "How do you do it? How do you write a joke? How do you get stage time?" Tell me exactly what happened to you and how I can apply it to me. Uh, and, um, and that information, I think, was priceless. You know, to get to sit down with Harold Ramis and have him walk oh you gosh. through his career. Um, you know, it implants somewhere in your brain. You don't even know how it does. Just in your unconscious somewhere, uh, uh, you know, there's all these stories. And, and as you have to make choices in your life, you, you, you apply that information. And were they mostly nice to you? Yeah, everybody was, uh, was incredibly nice. That's part of what, what had an impact on me, too, is, oh, you should be nice. Some part of you picks up on that, like, oh, this is what an adult should act like. Now, do you remember any of the advice that it still is a bit of a mantra, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, well, patience. You know, patience was the main thing they talked about. Because, you know, to be a comedian, you have to be bad for years then slowly you're bearable, and then you get kind of funny, and then you get pretty good, and then you know, if you stick with it, you might hit a whole nother level. Say somebody like Louis C.K., uh -huh. you know, who's been around for a while, and suddenly he becomes you know, one of the greats of all time. That only happens because you stick with it, and uh, you have discipline about it over decades. Right. So to learn that lesson, as a teenager, I, that was probably the most important lesson. Mm -hmm.